different players, but the same playbook? This all looks like a witch hunt. The Russian government is sounding a lot like the White House in denying any improper ties between the two. Next place. We are fighting the fake Good morning, or everyone. Uh, as uh, promised, I'm going to continue to keep you apprised of new developments. Um, uh, some significant developments, uh, I think, occurred over the course of the last uh, few days with information that was that was brought to my attention. Uh, and I'm going to just sort of read a, uh, a very brief statement, and that's about all I can tell you, uh, but I want to keep you fully informed of what's uh, happening. Uh, at our open hearing on Monday, I encouraged anyone who has information about relative topics, including surveillance on President-elect Trump or his transition team, to come forward and speak to the House Intelligence Committee. I also said that while there was not a physical wiretap of Trump Tower, I was concerned that other surveillance activities were used against President Trump and his associates. So first, I recently confirmed that on numerous occasions, the intelligence community incidentally collected information about U.S. citizens involved in the Trump transition. Details about U.S. persons associated with the incoming administration, details with little or no apparent foreign intelligence value, were widely disseminated in intelligence community reporting. Third, I have confirmed that additional names of Trump transition team members were unmet. And fourth and finally, I want to be clear, none of this surveillance was related to Russia or the investigation of Russian activities or of the Trump team. Well, what do we have here? Wiretapping of Trump's team and it isn't related to Russia? Well, that's, that's just impossible. Well, not so much impossible as it is reality. And what's this? It is, it is possible. <laughs> well, I do have some thoughts on this. First, people were unmasked. Why? Was it done legally? If this was not part of an investigation into Russia, what were these wiretaps an investigation of? According to Nunez, this was part of a FISA warrant, so it follows that the spying was done with a legally obtained warrant. Who, then, is the investigation on? Why was this information in intelligence reports? This looks pretty bad for the intelligence community. And with what we know about FISA, it doesn't look very good for the Obama administration either. Right now, it seems that the only argument left from the left is a semantic one. Well, you're right. Obama didn't physically twist copper cabling together. I guess Trump is a big, fat, baby liar who's afraid of stairs. He'll drop out any day now. Here, I'll leave you with something Maxine Waters said four years ago. I made clear to, to, to our viewers and yes. listeners is that, look, this is, the inauguration represented the beginning of his second term. Yes. But it also represented the countdown of the end of his presidency. That's right. And the reality is, uh, like anything else, you better get what you can while he's there because, look, come 2016, that's it. Well, you know, I don't know. And I think some people are missing something here. The president has put in place an organization that contains the kind of database mm -hmm. that no one has ever seen before in life. That's going to be very, very powerful. And whoever... In terms of the Organizing for America that he's now shifting to become a 501c4. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that database will have information about everything on every individual in mm -hmm. ways that it's never been done before. And whoever runs for president on the Democratic ticket have to deal with that. They're going to have to go down with that database and the concerns of those people uh, because they can't get around it. And he's been very smart. I mean, it's very powerful what he's leaving in place. And I think that's what any Democratic candidate is going to have to deal with.